All right, so this is the original oil cell. Um, this was a spin-off of the air batteries I was making some time back, and I created this particular cell over three years ago. I had it set up on a low current draw drill ringer. It was drawing about a microamp lighting an LED, and I ran that for months on end, and then I ran some motors with it. I've had it sitting on the shelf, and I want to reclaim this graphite rod for another project. But uh, anyway, apart from hunting down another one, I've decided to reclaim this one. But prior to doing that, I wanted to take some test readings on this cell and just see how it's been doing and take it out and ex inspect the magnesium ribbon and uh, see how it held up uh, during that time frame. So first of all, we'll take a voltage reading. And you can see it's about two volts. And that's really what it was uh, back when I first created it, because what it is is it's two of these in series. There's a little one, and uh, you can see it right here. And the magnesium ribbon actually looks to be in really good shape for three years time. But uh, anyway, as I take that apart, we can inspect that more. But there's a little one and a larger one. So right now, if I test the, um, the current on these, it'll default to the smallest one, which is four microamps, which is the reason it was running the little... Uh, low current draw jewel ringer LED uh, just fine because that you know took a microamp so let me just show you the small one is putting out uh, a little less than a volt actually it's climbing back up so I bet this is putting out around a volt we'll check that again in a second and it's putting out again on the microamp setting you know about two microamps and again this will climb back up to about a volt and that's on this little guy. We'll take him out of the oil. And this is just motor oil, just regular car motor oil. So we got that guy. Now let's take a reading on this uh, big one here. So on the big cell, we have, yeah, about a volt. This is what they generally hold at, about a volt. And on the microamp setting, we're at 20. This will probably go down and hold around 10 microamps. So again, it was adequate for driving, you know, ultra low current draw motors, uh, ultra low current draw jewel ringer lighting a single LED type thing. Um, it was really just a test to see if these would even generate any current or voltage uh, in this configuration. I do have some ideas of creating a capacitor type arrangement where I use magnesium foil as well as carbon paper or copper foil and create something like a capacitor that holds its own voltage. Um, and again, this test, as I take this apart, will kind of determine whether there's any validity to that sort of an idea as we inspect the magnesium ribbon and see how well this held up over that long-term test. Now I can see some pitting uh, on the ribbon here, but you know, I really need to take the ribbon off and flex it and see how easily it breaks and uh, just check it out in that way. This magnesium ribbon is not a pure uh, magnesium. You know, it has some, some junk in it. I'm pretty much convinced because of the fact that it tends to corrode faster than the pure magnesium that I test with. So anyway, it's still good for testing. Um, I'm okay, so I've got both the cells uh, out of the container here. And I must say that I'm awfully impressed uh, just, you know, with the initial examination of this large cell here. I think maybe the tighter radius bend on the smaller one, you know, opened some of it up more to pitting. But with this larger uh, radius around this, it just seems to be in really good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the magnesium ribbon off of it, and then I'll be able to inspect it to see how brittle it is or how easily it breaks. But even looking here at the uh, the top piece, it's just overall in, in really good shape, you know? Compared to uh, putting these in water or other systems, the oil really did do an excellent job of preserving the, uh, the magnesium. And uh, I've got here a sample of magnesium rod so that you can see the pitting that normally goes on like a crystal cell configuration. And this pitting, you know, I dug this out of here for the sake of uh, illustration here and just to see how it was holding up. But this level of pitting, you know, it seems to, as the crystals grow into all the little holes, it seems that the crystal growth just keeps advancing into the magnesium, keeping a good contact between uh, 
the anode and the cathode on there, and then of course the magnesium being your sacrificial anode just slowly gets eaten away. But uh, in this particular configuration, you know, we've slowed that down a lot. So if you had a something like a small motor or some little thing that you want to run for an incredibly long time, this may actually work pretty well. And if you increase the surface area by going to more of a capacitor arrangement with the magnesium foil and uh, basically build a capacitor. And I know from some testing that these also functioned like a capacitor. You could charge these up in voltage, you know, well above the two volts. Even an easy spin motor, if you would blow on it, would bring one of these right up to 20 volts or so. So it's definitely uh, an interesting thing. And uh, let's go ahead and go get this uh, ribbon off of here and inspect that. Okay, so I've got the ribbon off. I did some bin testing and braking uh, on the ribbon. It's actually in, in really good shape. It's in surprisingly good shape. So basically what I'm planning on doing is firing these. I'll probably put them in a furnace and burn them to remove the oil um, out of these Okay, so all the magnesium ribbon came off. It came off in one piece. You know, I've been doing a few brake tests here on it, but this is pretty much almost like a brand new roll of magnesium ribbon. It has a little bit of pitting here and there, but it's in surprisingly good shape. And uh, I'll just show you a brake test here. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, you know, ten flexes to break it. It's obviously not all pitted down through the structure of the magnesium or anything. And overall, it's in really good shape. And uh, now I just have to get the uh, paper towel material off of the uh, carbon rod itself. And go ahead and try to remove the oil out of these rods and uh, go from there. But anyway, folks, that's pretty much uh, just what I wanted to show in this video. Just an update on the old oil cell uh, test project. It's definitely piqued my interest enough where I probably will create some capacitors that basically have magnesium foil as well as carbon paper or copper foil or something of that nature put in an insulating oil and uh, do some tests with it. But anyway, I've got another project in mind for these uh, graphite rods and I want to get on with that so I can uh, already see the oil oozing out of the, uh, the rod. That's what I wanted. So. So graphite does an incredibly good job at holding heat. You know, I've had this thing out here for the last five, ten minutes trying to cool it off in this uh, puddle of water here in the concrete, and it still just brings the water to a boil instantly on contact. Mm -hmm. 